Hi, I'm Vinny, and this is Vinny's View. I'm here in my minivan and um, ready to review Bruno, the latest movie from Sasha Baron Cohen. Um, you'll know him from Borat, the movie Borat. This is in, is in many ways a follow-up to Borat, um, which was a hysterical movie. I think when I saw Borat, I almost hurt myself. I was laughing so hard. That was an unbelievably funny, funny movie. He made it a couple years ago. Wildly successful comedy. Put Sasha Baron Cohen on the map. Um, this movie, Bruno, is really a follow-up to it. it uh, it's another character from his uh, famous uh, Da Ali G show, um, which he, he played several different types of characters. Uh, this is one of them, Bruno. is a, He's basically a gay fashionista from Austria. Um, he is ultra cool, ultra hip Austrian, or at least in his own mind, he is ultra everything. Um, unbelievably over-the-top gay. And uh, I think that's part of his appeal and part of what makes him really funny. Um, he uh, is in a, a quest to really, his quest is to be a celebrity. He wants to be the ultra celebrity. He wants to be the, the most well-known celebrity in all of the world, okay? And he kind of falls on hard times in Austria. He goes a little over the top with some, one of his stunts and uh, he uh, basically has to hit the United States and try to become the most famous person in the world. Um, this is his quest, this is what he wants to do, this is all he's about. And he does it, he tries to go about it in many, many different ways. He travels around the world, trying to uh, you know, help the, the latest cause. I mean, is it is it Dar 4 or Dar 5? What's the latest one that he's trying to go after? Uh, ultimately, he adopts a black baby, which he thinks is, uh, is the in thing to do. Of course, names him OJ, which is an ultimate American name. I mean, this guy will do anything to get famous. Um, ultimately, uh, he decides that what's really holding him back is that he's he is gay, and all of the the most famous people in the world, uh, you know, John Travolta and <laughs> Tom Cruise and uh, Kevin Spacey, all he, all these people, the one thing they have in common is they're straight. Okay, that's that's what he says. So he, he he changes his tact and tries to become straight, which you know, if you see this character, you know it's just absolutely impossible because he is so over the top gay that he even offends gay people. Okay, so uh, he his quest to try to be straight, obviously that goes terribly wrong as well. Um, this movie is, you know, let's break it down. This movie is very very funny. It's also. You know, I find myself laughing and sort of cringing all at the same time, and it's very cringeworthy. I mean, every scene, you're kind of cracking up and cringing and almost turning away. I mean, I always find myself watching it sort of sideways because you're just kind of pulling away from the outrageousness that that, that, that is this character. And I felt the same way in Borat. Borat um, was you, you, you did, he did some similar things that really just made you cringe, and he's just so outrageous and so crazy. Sasha Baron Cohen. I really feel is a, he's an absolute genius. He uh, he inhabits these characters, and he's also brave as hell because basically these both of these movies involve mostly real people in a, in a lot of ways, and I think that's that's where the comedy comes from because he is so shocking and so out there that these people, the reactions that, that come from the people, is really what make, what makes it funny. You know, uh, you know whether it's dealing with someone who's who uh, is uh, is trying to make him straight. Uh, which is you know next to impossible, or uh, you know doing outrageous things in front of a you know a, a very southern audience, which is just outraged by him. It's uh, that that's that's where the comedy derives from. So, and and he is really a, a brave comedian because in a lot of times he is just doing this on his own, and, and people think it's real, but he, <laughs> you know, he's he is he is a brave brave guy. You know, if you watch him doing talk shows and doing uh, promotions leading up to these movies, to Borat and to Bruno, you know, he, he, he inhabits the character. He, is, uh, he goes on talk shows, he goes on Conan, goes on Letterman as his character. So he really dives in deep with these characters and you, you almost believe that they're real in a lot of ways. I mean, if he wasn't so outrageous and so over the top, you would almost believe it was a real a real guy. I mean, he has the, the Austrian accent down perfectly. Um, you know, and he's just uh, just outrageous in what he wears and what he, you know, his looks and, you know, some of the scenes are not, again, not for the squeamish. I mean, there's some really, up, up in the beginning, there's some, I, I don't want to describe them. They're just so outrageous and you're just, again, you're just kind of pulling back and cracking up and wanting to hide your eyes all at the same time. Uh, 
it's it's outrageous. I mean, he's just an outrageous character. And again, I think he's just a brilliant, brilliant comedian. And again, it all came from the, the Dial A G show. He had all these characters, and he somehow managed to create uh, full length feature movies out of them. And you know, we were talking about people, the, the real people in the in the movie. I think about probably about seventy percent of the people in the movie are real, and these are real reactions. And then obviously he mixes it in with actors and things. In this movie, he also tries to get famous by interviewing uh, uh, real, real celebrities. He had Paul Abdul in this, and uh, that was a very, very funny scene. And uh, there was an unbelievably funny scene where he was trying to interview Ron Paul, and where he decides that to get ahead, he has to sleep with someone famous and do a sex video. So, if anyone knows who Ron Paul is, <laughs> it was a very funny scene. Anyway, so that that, that that's uh, he's just a crazy, crazy, incredible comedian who uh, will stop at nothing to make you laugh. And I mean, he will stop at absolutely nothing to make you laugh, okay? This movie is not as good as Borat. I mean, to me, Borat was a lot funnier uh, end to end. Uh, this movie had some lulls in it, and uh, it, it wasn't, I don't think it was wall to wall as funny as Borat, but it was still a really, really funny movie. So anyway, so here's my, my rating for this movie. I like to make up different ratings for, I don't have five stars or anything like that. I'm gonna say this movie is brutally funny brutally funny because it makes you cringe it makes you want to turn away and obviously it's just but it's funny as well so uh, at the same time you're just cracking up and but it was definitely brutally funny <laughs> so uh it's not the funniest comedy of the year i think still think the hangover was but this one is it's right up there and it's everything you'd expect from sasha baron cohen it's just outrageous and wild and you're cringing and you're cracking up and you're turning away and you're just you're probably grossed out in a lot of ways uh and it's just it's just a wild wild movie okay so i'm Vinny, and that was Vinny's view check in later in the week and uh we'll have a new movie for you okay thanks